It's the world of YouTube. Tail Facade here with another video of proving portholes exist. Now, I released a video a few days ago, five days ago, whatever it was, about a porthole, about a little girl being um, chased by, I would assume, mutal dog, skinwalker. Um, but this is very different. And this has got to do, of course, with humans, not dogs. But I don't know where, you know, how this would, you know, it's pretty crazy how this stuff happens. But, um, you know, whether or not, and if you want to check this out, it's on that slapped ham and this is a YouTube short but I mean and it talks about where did he come from and as you'll see in a minute of what I'm speaking of but first off we gotta look at it's this woman and girl walking together I don't know if this is maybe some type of um event say so due to the fact that they look like they're in costumes uh, she looks like she's in a medieval dress or something which is costume or whatever but of course the girl over here looks like a little red riding hood but with a superhero face mask but all in all I mean I don't know what this and where this place is of course once again, um, you know, you got to go to the place to figure it out. I did get a comment on another video of the uh, UFO sighting in Mass, it's talking about Granby, Mass. Uh, someone had asked where the proof is. The proof will only lie if I go there mm -hmm. and prove it. That's all I got to say. Other than that, I mean, just like this, where's the proof for, let alone, um, where's the, damn it, excuse me, location. And that's what I don't like about some of these short videos, it don't show location. I want to know the damn location, especially where that little girl was running from the dog, and then the other dog emerged out. But once again, we're talking about like a porthole type thing. So, I mean, I don't know if this woman and girl in there, supposedly maybe husband was following them, or the father say so. But whatever the case may be, they were following these two in the camera, and then all of a sudden, as you can see here, then now let's get a look of where we are at. There's a blue, and as you can see, them red roofs in the back, or awnings, I want to say, in the back, but you got an um, blue umbrella, but yet you have these red, or them red, um, no, them are awnings, I believe. Or red umbrellas in the back. Whatever the case may be, you can see them in the background. I mean, that leads me to this picture of how far over. Because when these two started walking, they were obviously they were walking off to the left. As you can see, how she's turned here and then got further up, went left. And then, boom, this guy came out of nowhere. So I want to see where that gray shirt is there. And yeah, it's tough to say. I mean, you got to watch the video because in the video it does give a better view. But it also the camera's walking. And, um, of course, the setting changes because she turns left but like I say it, it's so short and cuts one would be you know wondering what this woman's thinking is this guy just 
walks right out in front of her and her kid. I mean, this is like leading up to the, um, the, uh, photos of the pictures in the past of time travelers, right? Which I was meaning to go over that. But literally, I got a, um, YouTube short the other day also talking about these pictures I wanted to go over. And literally, there was a man standing with sunglasses, the letter M on his chest. And it looked like modern clothes, modern glasses, and the camera in his hand. But someone literally did state that this guy had a camera of that time. The glasses were made of that at that time. And there was a college at that time with the same letter M on his chest. But I mean, whatever the case may be, these portholes or whatever these are doing with these... Um, People just appearing, dogs appearing, you know, like the one running after the kid. Whether she thought it was a, you know, maybe a cute little dog and, you know, petted it, but yet got spooked and started running because she realized that that wasn't maybe her dog or the dog looked friggin' <laughs> probably, you know, mangled or something weird looking. Whatever the case may be, but like this one, the guy just appears. You can see them red awnings in the back. Especially this gray wall. Do you want to take a look at that? Yeah, you can see that wall there. You can see the wall here, and as you can see how far she turned. Because it does seem to end at the corner down here. As you can see, that could be the ending of the wall. Compared to the other picture, you could see the full wall with no ending. But because she was finally turning in the camera, whatever, following her or whatever, you could see the rest of the wall that way. But this only goes to show how far she was back from that. But it is, man. It's insane. Of how this stuff is just appearing cameras are catching all this sighting stuff and like I say to the person with the UFO and proof where's the proof and only in proof it will exist if I go there ah other than that I don't know the person said they saw it of course they didn't have no video they didn't have no you know uh, pictures so that really sucks but yet the UFO committee out there is pfft, you know, all about it, getting that man's story. So I'm hoping when I send my pictures, they'll give me some response instead of something without proof is right. I like some proof too, but but this, let alone, I'm only waiting to the day when, right, someone just poof appears as I'm walking. <laughs> or you got some kid running and you got some behind it. And it disappears like the... Uh, Recording of the porthole the other day I called the other day. Video, it's like, what the f... Wow. So it's like, to say, what's really going on around here? I mean, it's only obvious I do believe that these portholes do exist. It's just right. Now that all the cameras are running, a lot of them are going to stop being... But then again, what... This guy has no, you know, appearance of being from the future, from the past, whatever the case may be, or let alone even realizing. But then again, who knows what he's looking at in his hand? Which, if you look, it don't... What the hell? It kind of looks like his phone is facing the woman. Hmm. Well, there's gonna be one of the mirror images. Cause if you, oh, that's strange. He has a phone facing. Hmm. So that's interesting. You would think he's looking down at his phone, but no, it's facing towards this way. So. I bet you that is a big deal, a great big deal of what him appearing like he did. 
And then, yeah, it does make it more interesting to say what the hell and why is his phone facing towards the recorder behind these two. Unless there's some trick photography there or video making, editing, you know. And that's a lot of things of controversy that could be done these days. Video editing. And with him pointing the camera this way, how about that mirror imagery? Huh. Wouldn't that be something if phones can just do that? But that is, I never, I just noticed that, so I thought he was reading something off his phone, maybe a text. But now looking closer in it, just to say, yeah, he don't look like of the unordinary. But also look at my, don't even look like he has a goddamn nose. Hmm, that's freaky. You know, something to say, <laughs> like the men in black. Just appearing, you know, this is a thing too, man. What if, I mean, aliens, right, are amongst us just like in men in black. Dressed up in human form. And I mean, with that being said, not taking a good look at this picture like I should have. Uh, and I'm doing it now, I mean. Oh, wait a minute. What the f... Uh, he's got that long ass like this a shoe on. Let me see, what the hell is that? Bear with me. Is that a person? So there's a white shirt. What? Someone's shoe. Oh, yeah, that is a person, so. What the hell? Only oh, like one long arm. So a back shoe. I mean, yeah, when you look at this video, man, it happens so quick, let alone. And that person in here. Strolling in, see, this is the thing what you really want to look into also is details of what the picture is or the video is showing. But you know, like I said, like the video shows though, it does show this insane, intense thing. And that looks like the baby carriage. Oh, there's the carriage. Baby carriage. There. Yeah, see? So there's the baby carriage right there. No, there ain't no baby in that sucker either. Weird. And then she's turning to the left. So we have the back end of the baby carriage. Let alone, what the hell? And it definitely is strange. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, well, I think I'm looking back. You know, with this movie, this video moving, I mean, you could see clearly, I want to say people's faces, noses, you know, you could see this clearly. Especially the kid while they're walking, you can see the face features. But when this guy hits the friggin' thing right, his face looks demented. I mean, it is something to think about, man. And know why he's twisted the phone this way. That's another thing. Mirror imagery or something. What is he recording? Very interesting. I mean, I'd have to go back to this video and check it out again. And that's the thing. I can't play the friggin' video because then I'll get copyrighted for other people's content. But you let alone to take all these pictures and try and figure something out. You know, it's aggravating. But let alone, you know, looking into what I see here. This looks like their legs are spread apart. Way apart. Hmm. And there's whatever down there. Wait a minute. Oh, that is his shoe. All right. But what do you think? 
What does everybody think? <laughs> like I said, this guy's nose don't look too... What the hell? Whether that's because he's moving and it's very blurry, but I'll tell you right now, that nose looks very small. Very strange looking. But let alone he's facing that camera this way, so whether he knows he's... I don't know, man. You know, I think they got them phones out there that make you friggin' appear, disappear. I wouldn't be surprised, folks. But it is very interesting. I've had to check anybody to check this video out. But that, let alone him facing the phone instead of looking at it. You know, why is he doing that? That right there, let alone, is strange. Video editing, what do you think? All I know is this friggin' video is... Now that I've looked at it, you know, closely, because I've been meaning to go over this... Them portholes, man, are getting really interesting to know if they really do exist, which I believe they do, because, sorry, there's a lot of stuff going on out there that's insane, and this is one of them. Check the video out. Let me know what you think. Man, I noticed I know I lost another subscriber. I'm down to 16, 29 again. Oh, I don't know. 16, what is it? 19, yeah. 16, 19. Oh, man. Things really getting busted up around here. Although I'm going to try something later on. Investments. Get this channel a little kicked up with a notch. I have been activated, but I got to go over in another video with that. See what people think. But other than that, tell me what you think about this video. Especially this guy with his nose. Look like it's... <laughs> crushed into his head or something <laughs> yeah I gotta go back and look at that cause his face looks deranged alien in a suit is it why is he facing the phone this way is the question till next video be safe they can't always believe so one day we're gonna find something we're all gonna one day stumble upon something it's gonna freak the shit out of all of us so just keep yourself aware, folks. Just keep it aware. Out.